Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com with The Hockey Movement, and in this video, I'm doing a review of Hockey Shot's newest synthetic ice. Yes, synthetic ice, that means it's plastic that you can actually skate on. Pretty crazy, I've had it in my garage for a few months now, I've skated on it, tested it a lot, really excited to do this review for you. So, is it worth it? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. First, I'm going to give you a close-up look, I'll show you my setup, talk a little bit about the stuff, give you some details, and then I'm going to skate on it, let you know how it feels. So let's get right to it. Here's the setup I have, so it's 16 feet wide and it's 22 feet long. It's not a huge area, but it's enough to do some pretty sweet stick handling, uh, some good shooting, and then a little bit of skating. So you can't go with full stride obviously in here, but you can still have the skates on when you're shooting stick handling and work on some footwork. So a good area to work on a lot of fundamental stuff, and then once you get on the ice, you go full speed with it. Uh, so I'll give you a close up look at the panels, show you how they're installed. Uh, you can see right here, it's got that dovetail. Basically, all you got to do, have a nice flat surface, you lay these down, get a rubber mallet, pound them in, and that's it. Really easy to install these. The total cost of a setup like this is around $3,500. Uh, the price varies depending on the thickness of the synthetic ice. So if it's thinner, it'll cost you less. If it's thicker, it'll cost you more. The more you use it, the thicker you want because as you skate, uh, little pieces of the plastic actually peel off, especially when you're doing hockey stops, tight turns, and stuff like that. Uh, so you want thicker stuff if you're going to use it a lot. Now, $3,500 sounds a little expensive, but if you think about it, if you have a sweet area like this set up and you can use it for 10 years, it costs you about $350 per year. The amount of use you're actually gonna get it, if you use it a lot, is pretty substantial. It's gonna cost less than registration for hockey, so uh, you know if you think long-term, it actually can be a pretty cool investment and a lot of fun as well, especially if you have a few kids running around in here playing hockey. So I built these dasher boards myself, I used a local company, uh, it cost about $1,000 to do the dasher boards and I went almost all the way around. I'm going to toss these skates on pretty soon and uh, tell you how this stuff feels, but first I figured I should talk a little bit about maintenance of synthetic ice and also the difference between the stuff from Hockey Shot and other brands. So you may have noticed right here, there's a little bit of build up going on. So this is from Pucks and Hockey Tape. Uh, obviously a Zamboni cannot come in here and clear this area off. It's not like ice, right? It's plastic. So you do get a little bit of buildup and also because I'm in a garage and I'm here in here with boots and shoes and stuff, I get a little bit, bit of buildup of sand. So what I do to maintain it is I get, use a push broom and I sweep it the best I can, but there is a little bit of buildup. So what happens is that's going to dull your skates a little bit faster. It's also going to slow you down a little bit, but you still can skate on it. It just pretty much makes you work harder. With Hockey Shot, according to their stats, their synthetic ice is much denser than normal brands. Also, it's self-lubricating. So what that means is with other brands, you have to sweep it off a lot because you get a lot of plastic shavings and you also have to put uh, something on it to make it a little more slick. With their stuff though, because it's a lot denser, it doesn't peel as much plastic off, it lasts longer, and it's self-lubricating. So that's one advantage to getting the stuff from Hockey Shop versus the other stuff. Um, I haven't been able to test this versus other stuff, but I have been able to skate on it, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Toss on the skates, show you a demo, and then talk about how it feels. Alright, so the ultimate question, what does synthetic ice feel like and does it feel like normal ice? Well, the answer is no, it doesn't feel exactly the same as real ice because nothing will ever match the feeling as sharpened steel cutting through ice. Now, it is a pretty good substitute though. Uh, the biggest thing you're going to notice is that it's a little bit slower. So you have to work a bit harder when you're skating on synthetic ice. Uh, the second thing is that your skates get dull a lot faster. My biggest recommendation is as long as you have sharp skates, you can do anything that you can do on ice. So I'm doing a lot, all kinds of crazy moves here, stops, starts, you know, quick feet stuff. You can all do those when you're skating. Now I stumble a little bit here. What I've noticed is that the biggest difference when you're gonna feel that difference where it's a little bit slower is right when you start your stride and right when your stride's about to finish. That's when you're really gonna notice that increased friction and where you're most likely to stumble. Also, if your skates are dull, you're gonna stumble and I'll show you that later in the clip. Next up is stick handling. Besides real ice, nothing beats synthetic ice for stick handling. The puck stays nice and flat. You can move it all around. You can do quick hands, uh, you know, all kinds of crazy moves. And you have a nice big area to practice all kinds of different things. And as long as you have your skates on, you can add that motion to your stick handling that you don't usually get when you're stick handling at home. You know, a lot of times if you're in running shoes, you don't get the same motion. So you have to learn something and then you have to learn it again once you get on the ice with movement. So that's a big advantage. 
Uh, here's passing, this is a little drill I call juggling pucks. So I have the extreme passer from Hockey Shot. I like to challenge myself, so I found this is a really good passing drill to work on hand-eye and getting two pucks going at the same time. And uh, here I'm just doing the glide test again after a little bit of skating. And in the next clip, I'll show you what it feels like to try to skate on synthetic ice after you've already been skating for an hour and your skates are dull. All right guys, that wraps up my review of the synthetic ice from Hockey Shot. My overall opinion on the synthetic ice, and this is coming from really high expectations because this is basically a childhood dream to have a spot where I can skate anytime I wanted. So my overall opinion for the Hockey Shot synthetic ice, stick handling, awesome, shooting, awesome, skating, it's great as long as your skates are sharp. The only thing that uh, you know isn't the greatest is that it does dull your skates pretty quickly and then you have to sharpen them. If your skates are sharp, it's amazing. If they're dull, you're slipping around so you can't get that same bite and do the same moves that you would on the ice. One more thing to note about synthetic ice is that it is expensive. However, if we think about it from a long-term perspective, like I was talking about earlier, it really can be worth it. Uh, you know, if you're using this area for 10 years, the amount of time you're gonna spend in here, the amount of fun you're gonna have, the amount of memories you're gonna have, and the amount of skill you'll get from improving that much time working on really specific stuff with an awesome training area, definitely worth it. So if you have the space, if you have the money, I would say go for it, pick it up. You're gonna love it uh, as long as you use it on a regular basis and I mean, what hockey player wouldn't? If you guys wanna pick up some synthetic ice, I got a link in the video description. Check out Hockey Shot and they'll set you up. You have to do a quote first because they have to determine the size that you need and the thickness of the synthetic ice and then they'll send you the price. Thanks a lot for watching the videos, guys. If you want more videos to improve your skills, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We do new hockey videos every single week. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.